30,000 athletes are preparing to take part in the 120th running of the Boston Marathon today. Of course, they'll be doing so amid heightened security with thousands of police officers lining the route as the marathon marks the third year since the 2013 bombings that killed three people. Don Champion reports from Boston. On the eve of the iconic Boston Marathon, workers painted the symbolic blue line that guides runners to the finish line. Along the 26.2-mile route, police will be forming a blue line of their own. We have a lot of undercover officers working the crowd. We have bomb-sniffing dogs. Any marathon, when you cover that amount of distance, unfortunately, um, you can never say the whole route is secure. Boston Police Commissioner William Evans ran the 2013 race when two terrorists set off pressure cooker bombs near the finish line, killing three people. Patrick Downs lost a leg in the bombings. Today, he'll run the marathon for the first time with his prosthetic leg, raising money for students with physical disabilities along the way. We want to help to ensure that other people with disabilities are also celebrated for the obstacles that they've overcome. Many runners taking part in the marathon had to qualify. Some say the way the city came together after the bombings inspired them to be here. Just because that happened, we're not going to stop. We're not going to stop running, and that's not going to be the end of this race. Richard Webster crossed the finish line two minutes before the bombings. He says today is about moving forward. Let's celebrate the fact that we're alive, that we're running, and that there's more good in this world than evil. 30,000 runners will take part in the race. Don Champion, CBS News, Boston. Today's Boston Marathon also marks 50 years since the first woman completed the race.